A lot of people have been asking me to start doing tutorial videos about Flinto again. So I'm back at it. I've got a new camera. It's a new year. I'm going to start doing weekly tutorial videos again. <laughs> the YouTube app has this cool feature where you can swipe down the currently playing video and then navigate around the app while the video continues to play. If you find something else you want to watch, you can tap it or you can swipe the minimized video back up. When you swipe back up, there's kind of a glitch. The large video pops into place rather than animating in smoothly. So I use this feature a lot, and I thought it would be a fun one to recreate inside of Flinto. Here's my three screens, and I'm gonna start by drawing a link over the top of the video and linking that to the screen that has the minimized video player. I'm gonna choose the swipe down gesture, and I'll create a new transition. In the transition designer, I want this screen to be behind the other screen because the other screen is going to be swiped down revealing this one. So in the layer list, I'll drag that screen below the start screen. Now I can put this one into position behind the start screen and I'll toggle to the end of the transition where I'd like the start screen to have flown off the bottom. So I'll just drag it down to the bottom and that will reveal the content behind it. If I press spacebar, I can toggle the transition back and forth to make sure it looks right. The only thing left to do is to move the minimized video player up to the top at the start of the transition. So at the start, this is gonna be at the top and it's gonna animate down to the bottom. So you can see this already works pretty well. But I think it might look even cooler if I move that minimized video player so that it starts slightly behind the full screen video player. This way there's less distance for it to travel to reach the bottom and it might make the animation less distracting. It creates a cool layered effect. All right, I'm gonna name this transition minimized player and I'll exit out of the transition designer. Now I just need to make sure I have a way to get back after I've minimized the video. So I'm gonna select the minimized player and press B on my keyboard. That creates a backlink. That'll allow me to tap to get back, but I also wanna be able to swipe up to get back. So I'll click create link while holding shift. And that allows me to create an additional gesture on the same link. This time I'll choose Upswipe, and now I'm ready to try this out. I'll open Flinto on my phone, and on my Mac, I'll choose it from the Viewer menu. Now I can test this out on device. So there's that swipe gesture, and I think that layered effect with the minimized video player looks really cool. So it works if I tap or if I swipe to go back up, and it doesn't have that glitch that the actual app has. All right, I wanna add one more thing. I'm gonna draw a link around this X button and target the screen that doesn't have a minimized player. I'm gonna make a new transition and this is going to animate the minimized player disappearing when you dismiss it. Now this screen looks very similar to the other screen so I can just hide it entirely. I won't even need to think about it. So I'm gonna drag the start screen into the middle of the screen here and all I need to do is drag the minimized player off the bottom and I'll fade it out. So when I tap that X, it's just gonna come off the bottom, and I just wanna make sure that I have a way to get back and start over, so I'm adding kind of a secret link here that just links me back to the first screen, and so now I can go through the whole flow. I can minimize it, bring it back up, bring it back down again, I can swipe back and forth with the direct manipulation gesture, and I can X out to dismiss it entirely. So there you go, a fun little recreation made in Flinto. I'll put the project files in the description so you can download them and take a look for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll share it with another designer, maybe somebody who's not as familiar with what Flinto can do. The more people that see these, the more encouraged I feel to keep creating them. Also, if you have an idea for a video you'd like to see, like a tutorial, or you have a question for me, or anything else, leave it in the comments. I really look at those, and I've made lots of videos based on the comments I've gotten. And if you haven't tried Flinto yet, go to flinto.com, download the two-week free trial, and it's really easy to get started with because there's over 100 tutorial videos on our YouTube channel and we have comprehensive documentation on our website.